Wellington Rugby TV, episode four. Welcome back. This week we are having a focus on the community part of the game. The club season well underway, heading into week five, and we'll have a wee little look at that a little bit later. But Christina Edmonds, chairperson of the Up Art Rounds, kia ora. Kia ora. Thank you for making the time to come and have a wee Pleasure. chat to us. Um, I guess, first of all, you'd be a little bit unique as a, as a chairperson in the mm. male-dominated <laughs> game, are you? Is, is there anyone else you can... Have a wee chat to? There are a couple occasionally. In the time that I've been the chairperson, we've had one or two others at other clubs who nice. have been um, uh, of the female gender. There are a couple of deputies that yep. you can ring and chat to, but in the main, the chairpersons are men. What's your background? How did you get into this? Uh, well, in terms of being the chairperson at Upper Hutt Rams, yep. I was initially, previously the chairperson at Imutaka Rugby, um, and I got into it administratively because my child played rugby and my other children played netball for the club as well and, and eventually in order to know what's going on and things I just got on a committee and then I became the netball <laughs> convener and I became the chairperson. And then you're right so and now I'm still here. And still here. <laughs> enjoying it though? Yes. It's you, seem, you seem to be enjoying it. Thank you. Um, so the Rams have been five years. Yep. How long were you at Rumatucker as a chairperson before that? Uh, a couple of years, two years before then. Yep. So how do you operate? Have you got a board sort of we structure, do. or how, we how have does that a um, we have a management committee. We have a, a you know we have all the normal things: a treasurer, um, a netball convener, a junior convener, two junior conveners. Um, we have a rugby committee. We have a club captain. We, so we get together. We have a good committee of a dozen people, and we we have a lot of subcommittees who look after the rest of our club. So you're more the. the chairperson of the sporting hub rather than yes. just the rugby oh. or, or well, it, it, Do you have a little bit of influence on the other side of things? <laughs> Some, you mean the netball side? Oh, well, that's where, <laughs> exactly where I'm in. Uh, a little, not a <laughs> lot. <laughs> the club operates a senior club and a junior club. It does. The juniors club and, and up in the top part of the valley there's always been particularly strong. Mm. How's it going at the moment? It's going well. We operate two junior adjuncts which yep. represent our, our former clubs. Why? Why uh, do you do that? Because when we came together as one club to establish the new club, the piece that needed fixing was our senior club. We had players... Take note, seniors. Players. Being fixed. Yes. Have <laughs> they had, been fixed yet? I think so, yes. Okay. I think they're all okay. thinking on the same path now and moving <laughs> that way. And, and one of the major um, motivators for us becoming one club was because we needed a focus for rugby in our community. Because young men were leaving school, couldn't decide where to play, where their, mother pla where their dad played or where their yep. mates played, and then decided they'd go down the valley because then there wouldn't be any conflict. So that wasn't useful for so us. So the junior, the junior section, I think we were talking before, 570 something 577 registrations, registrations so far. Fantastic. Yep. Do you struggle to get the volunteers looking after them? Do you struggle to get you know, parents, the coaches, the managers? No. The, no, you don't? For the junior adjunct, parents are very happy to be involved with their children. It's as they, as they get older and go to school and they get involved in lots of other activities, parents are too stretched to come back to the senior club. Nice. What's the goals for the junior club? Um, Where do you want to see it go? I, I think we want to build it and build it to see it um, uh, represent our community really well. To be, we, our club is based on a series, a strength of family values, nice. and we want our children to come back and feel safe to bring their children, you know, for generations to come. I guess I always sort of think about if, if you've played your club junior rugby yep. for one club, yep. if the experience has been a good one, you'll go. You'll back, go back. You'll go yep. back there, and I guess that's that's sort of what, what we're building. What we're Fantastic. Mm. Um, Burger King Sideline Behaviour Award yes. in 2016. Tell me yes. about that. We were very, we were, we were very proud of both of our junior adjuncts because um, one was nominated, and in fact both were nominated. But one was awarded the Burger King Sideline Award, and that was Umutaka. And the club that came second to them was the Upper Hutt Juniors. So we. Um, we are very proud of the way that they do that. And in the last year, they've been uh, still doing it, still very conscious of good sideline behaviour, but other teams have come up to our standard. And so it's a, it's a little harder. Well, that's good, though. That's it good for perfect. the game. Uh, but the values you talked about, that's fantastic. Yep. It reiterates that, that you know, things that, are working. Yep. The senior club, um, the highlights of the senior club, if I was, if we were to wander down to yep. Renz's bar, the old lonely goat herd a few years ago and sit yeah. in the corner, yep. God bless him, David Noll, and I was to say to you, what's the highlight, tell me a couple of highlights of the senior club, what would they be? Um, I think they would be the way that people, are, that our players understand that they're representing our club, they're representing their community, they're representing our life members, they're representing those children in the junior adjuncts, and they are in everything that they do representing our values. 
A number of, uh, I guess, in recent times, players who have got to the top level, and yep. we're talking about the Sevens boys here yep. particularly. Um, so we've had um, Murphy Taramai mm -hmm. in our first year, and who is now playing for the Blues and North Harbour. We've had uh, Max Pearson. We've recently just had Daniel Shrivers join yep. that elite team. So we are, um, and our and our upper heart Rams are the Wellington champions as well. So. And have been for, for, for a number of years, time. and are particularly yes. powerful at it. And I, and I guess you look across Jason Woodward, who carved oh. out a pretty successful career. Indeed, and the Rebels and the Canes, and yeah. now with Bristol. We've got Anadu Dungi yes. in um, Australia. Playing and, and that bloke Jane, Corey Jane, he, he played <laughs> all right, didn't he? He Corey went okay. Jane. He was Where all is right. he? Where is he? Finished uh, playing, what's he doing? He's back, um, he's back. We've pulled him back into our community. <laughs> and not, it wasn't very difficult. Really? No. Oh, I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> he is, um, and so he is a, he is a, he interacts with all our junior clubs and he is someone that they aspire to. So fantastic, fantastic. Life members. Yep. Annual meeting of the Wellington Rugby Union just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. The Mayor. Our mayor. The mayor, Wayne Guppy, the <laughs> pharmacist from Main Street, has now been inducted <laughs> yeah. as a life member of the Wellington Rugby Indeed Union. he has. Fantastic. For we the were very proud of that. We were um, very, very happy to make that um, nomination. Um, and, and that it was supported so well by our colleague clubs. Um, we had, it was not even difficult to get anybody to help us second him or, or, or support it. Um, he is a strong uh, rugby man <laughs> from Upper Hutt. Sure um, is. And he comes from a strong rugby family. So his dad, Colin, was also yep. very um, prominent in our rugby community in Upper Hutt. So um, it's, it, was, it was a pleasure and he is a joy to have. And he's the president of our, of our club. I do miss the chats in the back of the pharmacy. <laughs> I used to yes, sort indeed. of disappear up there and so just head out many the back people of the pharmacy. Miss that. <laughs> it's a great place to hide. No, it wasn't a great place to hide. It was a great place to have a chat. <laughs> um, right, eh? Other members of that, I guess there's the, the club that pop up for me, Dave Painter. Yes, our Coral, that's what we call him. Right. Coral Paints. He, um, he has just resigned from our management committee. You let so him go? We did. Okay. Since He's been a member of that committee since 1979. He's been around, he's, he's played, he's, he's massaged everyone and all of their brothers and sisters, uh, from, from our players to international players. Um, he just provides that little guidance to everyone. He, he, he used to be our WFU delegate, so he has a huge corporate knowledge and history. And he's still available for me to ring and say, Paints, <laughs> what are we doing about this? Why, are we, why did this happen? And he knows, because he was there when Noah built his ark. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, he sailed it, I think. Um, <laughs> Clubs are always looking for volunteers. We What's are. the easiest way? How do you how do you reach out to get people involved? Or, or how if someone's sitting out there thinking, in what fact, I've I got do? a bit of spare time, I've got some yeah, what yep. can I do? How do you get involved? So for lots of young people now, Facebook is the medium and Twitter is the medium that we use. But generally what we find is we get players' parents or players' uncles or someone's yep. niece, yep. like a manager's niece who's interested in doing something, we find the job that uh, interests them. So um, it, We've currently got some volunteers looking after our Facebook page who've not looked after it before, and that is the love of their life. Yeah. So I think the key is to find the thing they like to do and bring them in before they realise it's a lifetime job. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, all clubs, as we said, they need volunteers. Uh, again, for all, gameforall.co.nz is where you can find some more information. I'm not going to let you go without talking a little bit about week five of the Swindale oh, yes. Shield, and I'll let you off the hook probably a little bit here. So, Johnsonville against MSP at Helston Park. I'll throw my name in the hat here and say MSP will win that one. <laughs> OBU against uh, Ori's, probably the clash of around at Nambool Park. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, that's a hard one to call. You've got to make a choice. OBU. Righto. Uh, Paraplim against the Rams. Oh, gosh. Let me really? think. Hmm. Okay. Paraplim by 15. Oh. Uh, no? Not that <laughs> way. No. Righto. Petoni, Hutt, Old Boys, Maris, McBain, Shield, always a goodie. Oh, that's, that's, I can't make a choice on yeah, that. Yeah, Petoni went pretty well last week, Hutt, Old did. Boys, though. Petoni, Rec, home advantage. Yep. Yeah, a bit of hail around in the valley later this week, so who would know? Tower, Avalon at Lindhurst Park. I think Tower might Tower. be a strong there. Mm. Wainui, North at William Jones. That'll mm. be a goodie, too. That'll be very good. Why new matter? There we go. Good work. And the Spud Lindsay Memorial Trophy at High Tai Tai mm. Park. Wellington against Paniki. Well done. Missy Poloni Moananu, named Paniki coach uh, at the end of this week. So he's up for his first assignment. Yep. Paniki. So, yeah. For me. Paniki me too. For me. All matches kick off at 2.45. Christina, thank you very much for joining Pleasure. us. Pleasure. I can tell you love it. I do. Um, I think <laughs> if we came back and did this in 10 years, we might be having the same chat. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Enjoy the weekend. Thank Enjoy you. Old Timers Day, which Thank I you. think is on Anzac Day for yep. you against Oriental Oriental, Wellington. Yep. And go the Rams. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Ross Bond, <laughs> Wellington Rugby TV.